natural resource. picnic table here. Oops. Hmm. Oh, I see. Ironically, they're putting up the no overnight camping notice. So, apparently I can focus on that. Apparently, the locals were complaining, but I mean, there's no mess here caused by camping, and we're in the middle of nowhere, not even near housing. But I mean, there's fly tipping down there, but those are the uh, jibbo builders, aren't they? Oh, we'll just put a bit of block paving down here. I smell cancer sticks. That means Richard's up. <laughs> so, this is the little beauty that the locals have decided is going to um, stop people camping here. So I wonder if councillors made this genius decision as to just how far they're going to go to stop tourists coming to their community to support the local businesses. Uh, it's not very joined up, is it? But a lot of this isn't particularly joined up, as you probably noticed. Yeah, else? And if you haven't noticed, you've probably taken two lethal injections already and are waiting for the kill shot. Controversially, huh. Cup of tea, Volty. Cup of tea? Splendid, sir. Hello, Scruffy. It's too early for that coming out. Hello. I'm going to go out and I'm going to need a wing. So I'll have to then get up. There's the local council there, decided uh, after complaints from locals, they said, allegedly, I don't believe that, that they're putting up a uh, signpost saying no overnight parking. Well, I'm to that. Yep, that the, the yeah, that forestry there guy. He's uh, Charles and uh, James Bond, Daniel Craig. He wear he wear the fucking like, shoes. Oh uh, well, that's some top trivia. Yes, yeah, best shoes in the world. So before we change the subject to cobblers, <laughs> we were talking a different type of cobblers, which is um, big picture stuff. Which uh, unfortunately. The um, the psychos that have risen to the top of big tech and not don't allow us to discuss here. Speaking of um, discussing or even failing to comprehend big pictures, Richard had a statement on that very issue. I'm very proud of what our government's done. Where they've got the vaccines out so fast. Mm -hmm. Um, a furlough people. I didn't need to do that. Yeah, destroy businesses and have people unproductively sucking taxpayer money at home. That's a good <sighs> thing. But what was your alternative from? The alternative was, okay, to declare that SARS-CoV-2 has never been isolated in the laboratory. This is all one giant scam to depopulate people through lethal injections. Lethal injections? Lethal injections. They don't need lethal injections. They've got the coaches at Stonehenge 
What were the trap door? Trap doors at Stonehenge. What's that got to do? Oh, my oh God. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll have to watch that episode if you, if you want to see the backstory to Richard's yeah. euthanasia conspiracy yeah. theory. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, the NHS are brilliant, doing a good job and all that. They're trying their hardest. They're trying their hardest to do what? To uh, exterminate everyone? No. No, no, to put people with coughs on ventilators to choke them to death? No? I've been in hospital a number of times, a number of operations, Mm. and I had a fantastic service. Yeah, was that in the the last uh, ten years? Yes. You, you, wow, lucky you're still alive, sir. How can you say no to that, that lovely little old lady there? (laughs) No. Okay, you're going to have a little bit of chicken. There you go. <coughs> Whoop. Oh, yeah, that is a beauty, Richard. <laughs> oh, yeah, many happy memories of doing that, I imagine. So, Richard is as appalled as I am that the local council would wish to destroy tourists from coming to their region and contributing to local businesses. Yep. It's madness. And what harm are we doing? But we, 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 we just we parked overnight. Probably come here two or three times a year, spend a few hours, and go into town, spend some money mm. in town, or some petrol, deal, or some food, mm. or a little co or whatever. Four pack of Wolves Magnums. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we do no harm whatsoever. And no one else here, not like there's thousands of people trying to park here. Is it in the middle of nowhere? What harm are we doing? Okay, so you get a little bit of fly tipping by the local builders. Yeah, but that's only organic stuff. It's that not. That is all, 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 all organized, organized mix. All good. <laughs> Seems incredible to me. Yeah, and what I asked them, and they said it was from a complaint from locals. Well, the thing is, <laughs> if the complaint is about fly tipping, why don't they just put no fly tipping and then just have. I don't know, a, a wildlife camera up on that tree that, yeah. that one monitors movement. Yeah. Catch you doing, Blake. Yeah. People reversing up, opening the boot. Yeah. I'm I'm saying, stuff out. I say, oh, we just, just be here a minute now, just just get rid of this stuff <laughs> rather, than, rather than taking it down the tip and paying a fiver for it, we just, just drop it off here, Lee. They've got it next year when everyone goes to these foreign places mm. in, in, in some holidays. Let's not go to Wales, we go to Turkey for. 50 quid. Yeah. Well, you can just ride a Dolmush and go and see anywhere you like for next to nothing. Yeah. 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 Eat, eat for almost nothing. We spend all the money over mm. there. Yeah, get Some killed whales. Get killed by a random beardy, weirdy psycho with a religious belief for nothing. Yeah. But that's controversial. Another John Jones. What are the odds? like we're setting off for the day to a place oh, hey, that Richard knows about given by an app called What Three Words shops here and as if by magic we're off into the natural splendour of North Wales
loving that screen wash. Do without the leaves being stuck in the wipers though. Huh. Ah, there's Swallow Falls, just come and gone. Ignored. Oh, oh, he's pulling in. Oh, that'll cause any more cracks in his back bumper there. Huh. Excellent choice, sir. Uh, unless you're coming back this way and I've got to move. So Richard is making the fatal mistake of changing his plans and actually planning a new mission which could end in the same abject failure. Just do what I do and just cruise around and uh, rely on serendipity to allow nature to present you with the most beautiful spectacles for nothing. <laughs> Rather than face a, <laughs> a hundred yard walk with a dodgy hip to pay a fee to watch water toppling over a couple of rocks. You can get that at uh, Thlanuted Wells. You can get that at um, oh, hundreds of places I've seen. Reda, Elan Valley. Swallow Falls being a pointless logistical nightmare ripoff, we've decided to go to Capel Keurig. What a beautiful valley that is. And then over the mountain passes to Blyne Festinjog. Yeah. Uh, sounds like a plan. Hell of a plan, yeah. Well, we know how we do. Yeah. We're going to race anywhere. 